So how about them Edmonton Oilers? Winners of five straight, looking really good. They would go on to beat the Carolina Hurricanes 6-1. to one. Absolute domination. And a key reason why they won this game was Zach Hyman. He would get another hat trick on the season, leading the Oilers in goals with 15. And seven of those goals came in this five game stretch. So why are the Oilers being successful? It's a multitude of factors. Connor McDavid has turned it on. In the last five games, two goals, 14 assists for 16 points, producing at over a three point per game clip. Zach Hyman, seven goals, four assists for 11 points in this five game span. Dry saddle, while not overwhelming numbers like the other two, four goals, two assists for six points. But Stuart Skinner has had a 943 save percentage during this stretch. He has been phenomenal. Last night against the Carolina Hurricanes, 975 save percentage. Prior to that against the Jets, 962. Had a down game statistically against the Knights, an 852, but then against Anaheim, a 913. Had a shutout against Washington at the beginning of this winning streak. They're starting to improve their play somewhat in front of their goalie, and Skinner is also making some pretty big stops as well. Let's get into the scoring. Look at this hustle play from behind the net. Throws it to McLeod. The Oilers go up 1-0. That's just great work ethic there. That's what the Oilers need to be doing every single night. Then McDavid, the wizard himself. Look at this play. Whoop. Cuts back. Throws it over. Easy tap in there for Ekholm. Now it's 2-0. Then in the third goal of the game, Hyman's like, I'm not going to be outdone by McDavid. He's going to do a little move here in the corner. Drive to the net. Go far side. Great finish. Hyman's really feeling it lately. Kochetkov would get pulled after that third goal, but these Oilers sense blood in the water. McDavid over to Nugent Hopkins. Hopkins over to Hyman. Just a very pretty play. No shot there for Ranta. We are up 4 0. That would be all the scoring for the first period. Vogel put on the Jets on a breakaway. Great finish. A little stick handle, go finish forehand. Just gets it right past the pad. The Oilers are now up 5 0. Now Carolina's like, all right. Enough. Slavin would go across to stall. This was a great saucer pass. Not much Skinner can do there. The Canes get on the board. And then McDavid over to Hyman. He gets his hat trick. McDavid is just so good at hockey. I'm so jealous. Like, look, look at what he's able to do to defenders. If I had like a tenth of that talent, I would be very happy with my beer league games. Oilers win this game 6-1. This is a great stretch of games for the Oilers. The Oilers have themselves up against it. Can they still make the playoffs? Yes, but they're gonna have to continue this tear. They have two to three games in hand on other teams, but they're still six points back of St. Louis of that second wildcard spot. They need to keep tearing it up. Due to the poor start, it might not be possible for them to finish in the top three in the Pacific Division, unless one of those teams goes on a massive losing streak but if the Oilers are able to salvage this season Skinner is able to round into form McDavid, Drysaddle, Hyman, Vander Kane all their top players up front produce Nurse, Ekholm, Bouchard play well on the back end that would be a hell of a story I would like for them to add another piece defensively if they can somehow make it work with the cap but this would be a hell of a story let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section do you think the Oilers can make the playoffs this season I'm Captain Paul I'll see you in the next one